Hello, my name is Bhavya Goyal and I will be presenting my final year project on reinforcement learning in the metaverse. The metaverse is a new hot topic in the technical industry which is gaining a lot of popularity as it aims to provide its users with a socialization experience which is both participatory and realistic. The metaverse has also advanced into multiple domains like education, healthcare, business, gaming, etc. It is also majorly seen as a tool for socialization and communication between the users in the form of avatars. The motivation of this project is to create a seamless AR socialization experience. It is important to blend physical and virtual world scenes seamlessly. However, the limited computing power of mobile devices is hindering the generation of smooth AR scenes. One potential solution is to use mobile edge computing to transfer the physical virtual world integration into integration task to an edge server. The objective of this project are as follows. Multi-user AR computation of loading formulation. As the computation load required for the problem is overbearing, we aim to create the specific problem formulation to overcome this problem. Second, novel quality of service metaverse metric. We propose a new metric for the quality of service model, which ensures a balance between the AR requirements of multiple users to enhance their experience. Third, DRL scenario and algorithm design. We also introduced a suitable reinforcement learning framework by defining the reinfo reinforcement learning state, action, and environment based on our proposed model. Then we will utilize various deep re reinforcement learning methods to identify the best possible solution. Now I will briefly go over the methodology. Starting with system model, this, the system model comprises of the communication model, the Q QoS model, and finally the reward formulation, which is done using the deep reinforcement learning approach as shown in the figure. Moving on to the deep reinforcement learning approach, the first step is to configure the state, action, and reward. The algorithm used for deep reinforcement learning is the PPO algorithm, OpenAI's proximal policy optimization algorithm is an improvement upon the standard policy gradient algorithm. When dealing with sequential problems such as reinforcement learning, small variation in parameters can have a significant impact on performance, and tuning these parameters to achieve satisfactory results can be challenging. PPO addresses this issue by taking a cautious approach using a callback Leibler divergence penalty to constrain policy changes and mitigate the effects of highly sensitive and noisy advantage estimates. Additionally, PPO employs an important sampling strategy and uses asynchronous policies for training and sampling data to enhance sampling efficiency. The PPO algorithm is then compared with these pre-existing algorithms, namely DQN, Dueling DQN, A3C, and A2C. We also introduce these four new metrics, which are total reward, average rate, channel resource waste count, and successful transmission counts. Now I will go over the implementation. The, for the algorithm design, we mainly use these three libraries, which are PyTorch, Jim, and TensorBoard. Moving on to the results. This figure displays the average reward obtained by each algorithm over the final 2000 epochs, which, which serves as an indicator of their performance. Both policy gradient algorithms PPO and A2C perform much better than the DQN based algorithm. This figure displays the reward acquired by each algorithm in each episode during the training process, specifically for the scenario with 7 AUs. In comparison to A2C, PPO is less prone to getting stuck in a local minimum, indicating that the policy change constraint in PPO makes it more stable for the proposed scenarios. From the figure, we can see that PPO has the highest average rate when compared with other algorithms, and as the number of AUs increase, the average rate increases for all algorithms. 
Similarly, from this figure, we can see that PPO has the highest number of successful steps when compared with other algorithms. To conclude, this project has emphasized on the problem of AR socialization over wireless networks and also proposed a novel QoS model to tackle the aforesaid problem. The proposed QoS model takes into account various factors such as delay, transmit power, channel allocation, user satisfaction, and maximum tolerable delay to achieve the best possible result and to provide the AU with a smooth and immersive AR socialization experience. The QoS model employs deep reinforcement learning techniques to determine the user to channel allocation that is nearly optimal while working within the confines of limited channels. The conventional methods of optimization are inadequate for addressing the, the su suggested sequential problem. Hence, deep reinforcement learning methods are utilized. After comparison with various pre-existing reinforcement learning algorithms, it was found that the proposed model performs better in all aspects. That's all. Thank you.